Downtown Amarillo has recently seen a boom in development from new construction on Polk Street to the MPEP opening this spring. There's no doubt new buildings are a key to that revitalization, but so is restoring some of those older historic buildings. The Barfield building has been standing strong for decades, but has not been occupied in years. It's now set to be a part of the Marriott's autograph collection, a boutique hotel with plans to open at the end of 2019. Fox 14's Maggie Glenn takes a look at the building's history. It was one of our first skyscrapers in Amarillo. The Barfield building has sat on the corner of Route 66 and Polk Street since it was built back in 1926. And Polk Street is Amarillo's main street, so I always think it's the best corner because it's at Route 66 and Main Street. Even with its ideal address, it's been years since the building has been anyone's destination. It was previously used as office space. Uh, there was even a few years my dad had an office in there and I remember coming downtown and we would be allowed to come downtown during the day of a parade and look at the parade out the window. Linda Krim, the Barfield Project spokesperson, says adding a boutique hotel downtown Amarillo will contribute to the recent revitalization of the city. This was the heart of downtown originally. Uh, if you ever go back and look at old pictures, it's wonderful to see the, all the people that lined the streets and, and the neon lights that were up and down this street. Renovating the building rather than starting from scratch to keep that heart in the city. Our hope is to restore it to uh, all the glory that it was, uh, was when it was originally built. All that glory began with M.D. Oliver Eckel. It was built by Dora Oliver Eckel, and she was an amazing philanthropist, a fabulous businesswoman, and many times she went by her initials because it wasn't uh, appropriate for women to be in business, and she wanted to be taken more seriously. Today, Oliver Eccles' vision is taken seriously with this project. She called this building when she built it the crown jewel of the panhandle. I, I hope she'll be proud with what they're doing. We're very excited. In Amarillo, Maggie Glenn, Fox 14 News. You know, not only is keeping our city's history alive a great incentive to restore the building, but there are also federal and state tax credits offered to developers for historical buildings like the Barfield. The new boutique hotel will have 112 rooms, a restaurant, and a speakeasy. Oh, really? Getting fancy. Gotta get the password. Mm -hmm. For a look at the plans for the new boutique hotel, go to myhighplains.com.